Oh. I'm telling you right now. Look at that. Wow, Robin, have you ever seen anything like that? No, Howard. I've never enjoyed lobster like this before. All right, you are our spokesmodel. I want, let me take one more bite. And I want, doesn't your mouth bleed from the hardness of the, uh, of the lobster? Does your mouth bleed from that? No? Huh? I think you're stumping her with these questions. I'm asking you, does it, does it hurt your mouth to eat a hard object like that? Well, it depends what type of hard object you're talking about. No, I'm saying, does it, does it hurt you? I'm not looking for double entendre. Does it hurt your mouth to eat a hard lobster like that? Oh, no. All right, very good. Let me uh, talk to you about Snapple. Where is a bottle of Snapple? Aren't you supposed to be holding a bottle of Snapple? Because let me tell you something, honey. After you, you, you eat a lobster like that, you need a drink. All right. There it is. Okay, very good. Look at this. My security force tonight all drink Snapple. That. Come on up and hold a bottle of Snapple for everyone. How many of you in the audience have ever tried Snapple? Hey, turn around. Turn around to the camera. Go ahead. Why is it you started, I don't understand, how is it you eat a hard lobster like that? How did you come to eat such a hard lobster? Um, why would you eat the shell? Why, what would drive someone to eat the shell of a lobster? Well, they brought out a big old plate with a big old bib and a pair of pliers. Mm -hmm. And they sat down my date. I thought it was just a practical Sweetheart, joke. we don't want your life story. I just want to know what happened to you. Well, okay. When you eat the Snapple bottle? Have you, ever, have you ever had Snapple before? Does that mean you will actually swallow the bottle? I mean, imagine that. Try Snapple. Snap Up, the first all-natural thirst quencher for athletes. It's a great drink. Snap Up replaces nutrients, minerals, and electrolytes lost during exercise. Do you exercise a lot to stay in this kind of shape? Oh, yeah. Yes, you do. Snap Up flavor. You know, people would say it was kind of stupid to eat a whole hard lobster. You would think that it was so hard that you couldn't and, eat it. And she seems like such an intelligent person. I know. I don't understand what happened there. You seem very bright. I don't understand why you would do that. Well, I didn't know how I was going to eat it. All right. Place. Snap Up flavors include fruit punch, lemon, lemon lime, and orange. Get Snapple, Snap Up, made from the best stuff on earth. It's Snapple. We'll be back with more of our show right after these words. The show that allows you to speak to the greatest television star in the world, the supernatural, Howard Stern. I am ready to give an audience to another one of our viewers. Our next viewer is Kurt Eckold. He makes unusual sound effects. Very good, Kurt. Please step forward. All right, Kurt. Uh, you've given uh, you've been given a chance tonight to speak with me. Please go ahead and make oh. it quick. Okay, this is what I do. I make fart noises with every joint of my body. You think that that would entertain me? Go yes, ahead. Yes, absolutely. All right, well, I'll, I'll take a look okay. at that. It's a hand. All right. Elbow. Duck All call right. with the leg. Uh, <laughs> wow. And... You know, I, uh, I'll, uh, let me ask you something there, Kurt. I bet you can't do that with your butt. <laughs> Once in a while, I can't. That's the problem with you. I got a good one, though. Oprah Winfrey fart. Oh my God. All right. Very good. <laughs> Kurt, Kurt. Kurt, you may step forward for a moment. I have a gift for you. I want you to wear this mask for the rest of the night. Here, that's, put that on. Put that on, Kurt. All right, Kurt, now with your best sound effects, say hi to your mother. <laughs> so she can see what you... Go ahead, there you go. Mom, I love you. All right, very good. Thank you. I how wonder, old is he, Robin? I wonder how long he practiced. I wonder how old he is. And what he gave up to do that. That's right. <laughs> gave up a promising career in medicine. <laughs> The next studio participant that has been granted an audience with Howard is Suzanne Muldowney. She wishes to dance for you, Howard. Very good. I noticed an unusual costume, Robin. Well, yes, this is a costume worn by the cartoon hero, Underdog. Well, I am uh, aware of this cartoon, Suzanne. Uh, what is it? You are dressed like Underdog for a particular reason? Um, I'm, uh, I'm here to 
give a dance impersonation of this TV cartoon superhero who originated in 64. I selected him because, like Superman, he was supposed to fly. I originally had seen the 50s Superman TV series and had been attracted to the flying element. So oh. when Underworld came out later, uh, it was a natural. But I'm much more serious in it than the original cartoon character ever was. Let me ask you something, because uh, some people have mistaken you for a Channel 9 executive. <laughs> You are. Uh, you no. do not work. You do not work with Channel Nine in any way, do you? Um, no, I was asked to come here. I'm also dead serious about this uh, kind of performance. Well, what you say? Get ser are you serious about Underdog? Um, I mean, that I'm, is a funny kind of thing, isn't it? He was. He was originally shown that way, but I didn't like it. And other characters who born at least a generation ago, currently being revived, are made to improve with times. Will you be so getting how it? should we look at Underdog? The underdog As a more be... meritorious superhero, not so much a cartoon character <laughs> than he was originally shown. All right. If you're a superhero, that's a step further than just a run-of-the-mill character. All right, very good. Let me see this dance. Let me see if I can uh, somehow treat this seriously. It's hard for me to treat it uh, seriously. Uh, as a matter of fact, after you, John, Stuttering John, will be doing his Planet of the Apes dance. <laughs> which is true. All right, go ahead. Let me see some Underdog, please. Grant Remember, us. flying. Thank you. up my children. <laughs> Robin, what do you think of this down on the floor? What is this? I, I just don't see a reason for it. You don't see a reason for it. We're not <laughs> sure. May I interrupt for a minute? I'm not sure we understand the reason for this. I'm not sure that I, you know. Thank you. <laughs> Suzanne. Suzanne, Suzanne, please explain it to us. I'm not sure I understand the reason for Underdog. I want to understand. I'm having a hard time here. A great many performing artists have particular character specialties. Uh, Underdog, the TV cartoon superhero, is one in my case. I'm sure there are many other guests you've had previously who are performing artists that well, had particular specialties. I only wish for you one day that you meet a man and have a husband and uh, he performs a snagglepuss. <laughs> Thank you. John, John, show us your dance. Let me see your dance. What is this, Planet of the Apes dance? Very nice. Very good. <laughs> and you know, Howard, not too many people take him seriously either. No. Very good. <laughs> Howard, now I have the special honor of presenting Black Elvis. All right, Black yeah. Elvis. Now, I've, uh, you know, Elvis, uh, a lot of people are big fans. Is this sacrilege to be the Black Elvis? I mean, I never heard of a Black Elvis. Have you ever heard of such a thing? <laughs> I'm Elvis. I'm Elvis, sir. You are Elvis? Yes, sir. I just right. come back with a darker tan. All right, very good. Now, you, uh, will you work as an Elvis, or is this just some kind of shtick that you do? No, sir, this is serious, You get man. paid jobs? Yes, sir. Here? All right, let me hear a little bit of Black Elvis. Go ahead. Love me tender. Love me true. I'll never let me go. You help me. Yeah, baby, you made my life All right, listen, complete. listen, I'm getting bored already. I'm completely bored. What kind of nonsense is that? You know, uh, I know the Chinese Beatles, but uh, never the Black Elvis. I never saw anything like that. Do me a favor, pal. Here is a one-way trip to, from New York to Detroit. That is for you. I want to...